Hi and welcome to this new video on basic robotics theory. In this video we're going to do an introduction of what is manipulation and why do we need it, especially for ROS, okay? So manipulation is basically mm, making your robot be able to grasp anything. Uh, so that's been a problem from the start, it's not that easy to grasp an object, especially when uh, the conditions change, the object changes, and even if we maintain all those variables constrained, it's still difficult because grasping objects, they if they're not rigid, if they change slightly, if they are not positioned exactly where they are, it's really difficult to grasp objects and nowadays robotics is all about grasping any object in any conditions. So for that there's a lot of uh, AI work doing uh, currently uh, and what I'm going to talk about here is just a, a very small brief first step of what is the first step that you need to um, grasp an object. So. Uh, the first step in manipulation is being able to detect that you have an object there, around there, knowing where it is and, that's, and identify that it is an object. Hmm? So, in this case, we're going to do uh, the example with our beloved butter robot. So, in here, what you can see is so here what you, what you can see is our robot uh, and the butter and what we're going to try to do is that the robot identifies that there's an object there which is something different from the table something totally different uh, because if you don't know what is an object uh, for a robot it's really difficult to um, know where the table ends and where the object starts uh, for us for you and me it's really easy to know but actually it needs a lot of learning to do that to be able to do that so for a robot that it's only some lines of code and some algorithm it's not that easy so let me uh, so in this robot what I, I modded it in a way that now our camera is a depth sensor so it we have RGB but also we have depth sensing so this means the following so let me just uh, minimize this So there we are. So you can see here that, let me just put this here. Okay. So what you see is that, that the robot is seeing part of the, of the table. And this is the point cloud data. So if we go to the simulation and let's move the robot so that it's having a look at the the butter. There we go. So you can see that it's detecting the butter in three dimensions, which is something that with a normal camera it's impossible to do at least to be able to visualize it like that and we're going to use this information let me just put it again because i'm having some issues with the physics here and i'll work on it but it's it's essentially because of the of the different surfaces and the table i think it's not very good for gazebo simulation so there you go. So we have a 3D representation of the object and we can see differences in color and in depth, which is really important. 
So now what we are going to do is first I'm going to activate the simulation again and now I'm going to put the robot, move it using what we did in previous exercises, in previous videos. Okay, there we go. So now we have a better understanding of the surface and how it works, especially for the robot. So there you go. So now we have a, a better um, vision of it. And now what we're going to do is execute the first step to be able to detect an object and be able to then do the next steps in manipulation. Uh, if you want to learn more about manipulation, check out our course uh, Ross Manipulation in 5 Days, which we go in depth in all the steps, not only this tiny step of just detecting the object, but also going and doing the first approach and then grasping the object. So let me go here and prepare the code. So now I have an, uh, a launch that is, it has an action which I call and then what it does is look for objects in the point cloud that it's receiving. And here what we're going to see if, uh, we're going to see if it's detecting an object or not. Okay, so let me prepare this. There we go. And then there you go. So it detected something. So let's have a look. And there we have it. So you see that it detected the object there. And that's more or less how we can do it. So I just had to I just have to um, fix this issue of of just this moving automatic movement, which is based on physics. But what you see here is that it differentiated the it generated a new point cloud, which represents the the part of that he thinks is an object. So it is not the table, but it's an object. And based on that, in these point clouds, we can generate uh, a grasping um, coordinate so that the arm goes and grabs the butter. Okay, so that's the first step. So what did I use? I used um, this, let me just, uh, simple grasping TC, which is a modification of simple grasping. Um, I leave the, the original git in the video description. Also, I leave the course on manipulation in the video description in case you are interested in knowing how this continues. So how do we go? We do the, the approximation and then we do the first pre-grasp and then we go and we grasp it. All the modifications that we have to do to the robot so that it grasps the object and we're going to do it. You do it with other robots that are real robots that exist and are commercially available and that's it so thanks a lot for your uh for being until the end and give a thumbs up if you like the video comment if you have any questions and see you in the next video peace